I'm back for part three. Pain incarnate, level 12, going to town against Shen. Get some nice farm on the bottom. Don't play Shen that often. He is a great tank, great tank. Like to have him on my team. Uh, I've not quite got the IP to be able to build him at the minute. Currently playing Shaco in a, on Twisted Tree Line because of his flash, his deceive ability is like a mini flash. The flash is so powerful on that map, in my opinion, due to all the cliffs. Oh, Zyron going down, Vygar going down to a double team. We have Sorfane and Solaris taking Vygar down. Vygar hoping that the turret would save him. However, that was not the case. Uh, if we look at the item builds or not, <laughs> I'd comment more about the uh, bottom lane, but they're both characters I do not play, so I don't really have the feel and the kind of the kind of sense of how they uh, play out. Singed, going back to health on low health. Going back to health on low health. Okay then, Dave. Going back to base on low health. Da -da -da. See what I did there. Right. <laughs> don't know. I don't know what I say. Bit, bit of a lull in the action. I do apologise, guys. We've got no real ganks going off. There's no real champion on champion action. He's just farming and farming and farming, and uh, the champion's trying to get an advantage. Maybe we'll see a, a gang down bottom. Simon is it is a two on one, but with Pain Incarnate with his ult, he's got enough mana to pop his ult, making him immune to damage. I don't think he's going to uh, get it in the kill part. Top turret goes down, like I say, Yi is a very good turret pusher. They do need to address that. They can't just leave him to push the turrets because Yi will be more than happy to do so. We have Chalice of Harmony, uh, rightfully pointed out from the caravan man there, uh, all going off on Shen to uh, prevent. Uh, Vygar for taking any extra damage. Vygar is uh, notoriously low health, so he needs to be looked after on Babysat. And uh, Shen is the guy to do that. He is the man with the plan. Sin is looking, uh, looking to get the uh, gang there, but uh, all the uh, green team is near the turrets. Or turret. As there is only one in the local vicinity. Du -du -du. So maybe guys, maybe you guys can give me some feedback on uh, on how Kyle plays out and how uh, Shen plays out. Some of you uh, Shen pros or Kyle pros out there, give me some feedback and uh, let me know how they play, how you're supposed to play them aggressively, defensively, what's your favourite move, what should I watch out for, how do I best counter it, things like that. Uh, for example, um, the uh, Shaco that I play lately. You, at level one, you can uh, if you get the Jack in the Box ability, you can go to the uh, the monster buff, which is at our current location where the camera is. If you zoom in, zoom cameraman is zooming in there. Fantastic cameraman on the uh, yeah, that's for the red buff on that one. You can put down loads of Jack Jack in the Boxes, just spam them, and then when that creep spawns at the start of the game, it will dies pretty much instantly. All going off from Sorfe takes down Singed. He's going to pay for it though. Master Yi going in to take down Sulfate. Alpha Strike, fantastic stuff. Alpha Strike actually does magic damage. It doesn't do physical damage. It is Master Yi's only magical damage. So it will scale very well to the AP build. Master Yi going down though. IB Plundering gets taken down by a double team. Fantastic stun there from uh, Amumu. <laughs> I'd be plundering saying, saying he thought he just used his ult, so he thought Amumu did not have his ult, so he was unable to stun him. He was wrong. Amumu didn't use it. He had enough mana to use it and did use it. Yeah, I think he's called the, the sad mummy or something like that. Amumu's ult. Used a great effect there. Teleport going in on that tower to save the tower. Vigar goes in, doesn't get the stun down. Doesn't get the stun down. I like Vargas' stun. It's wicked for team fights because you can literally stun their whole team with a great, great uh, placement of the stun. It is one of the, my favourite stuns in the entire game. And that's pretty much the end of that conversation. Slight uh, lull in the action again. Zoom in from the cameraman. You see these minions battling out. 
pink minion, kill him, blue minion, blue minion goes down. Oh, come on, go back, I was commentating on the minion fight. Right, um, okay, a Mumu in the middle. Down to roughly half health and half mana. Shen doesn't use mana, so he's sitting there on full whatever it is that he uses. Maybe just ninja swords, because apparently he's a ninja. Zoom in on the map, look at that, hey. We've got green dot, red dot versus more green dots and red dots. I think red dots are winning. <laughs> the winning... Uh, oh, oh, I'll zoom out. You're spoiling my fun camera, man. Come on. Right, a uh, couple of turret damage going on. Yeah, it's not going to matter because as we've seen before, it's just going to meditate. I get that. Zoom in on the dragon. Dragon goes down. Dragon is down. Fantastic. It is not flying anymore. Takes it in the kipper, IB plundering, <laughs> sees Solar Solaris and just turns tail and run. We've got two in that bush though, needs to be careful. Vigar, do we see a stun? No, fail stun. Well, it's not really, technically it's not a fail stun because it wasn't a stun. So there has to be a stun to fail for it to be a fail stun. So it's an omission stun. <laughs> I'm talking a load of rubbish. Which is good because I enjoy talking rubbish. It's one of my favourite points. Hence me shoutcasting. Right. Do we see an all on Solfane? We do. I called it. Called that. Oh, following the all. It doesn't take Vigar down to no health though. Vigar, I assume in, is in the fog of war on very low HP there. Unlucky from Solfane. Let's see what uh, health Vigar's on. No, no, it's uh, not, uh, not as bad as I thought. Maybe he uh, did some health regeneration. Definitely think the uh, True Shot Barrage did hit Vigar there though, so good harassment from the uh, Fog of War there. Good use of the ult. Oh, the uh, left hand tower for the green team is going to be in trouble if Solaris doesn't get there pretty pronto. Yeah. Da -da -da. Turret battle. I'm loving this zooming in from the cameraman. This is cool. See all the blood from the minions just go blood everywhere. Look at that. That is gore. That is gore. This is this game must be like an 18 or something. It must be an 18 plus. With all that gore, now I'm gonna have nightmares of minions killing each other. <laughs> right. Wouldn't it be cool? No, no, that'd be stupid. That'd be very uncool. Right. Um, in bottom lane, seeming as that's where we're watching, there's not a lot going on. So I will maybe talk about biscuit. 